Hey, what is up YouTube, it's Anchor here, and in today's video, I'm going to be going through some of the fruits that I would like to see added to Grampus Online. So, here are just some of my ideas of some fruits that could be added to the game, I think they'd be a good fit, I think they'd enhance the quality of the game, and overall, I think it's pretty interesting to see more Devil Fruits, but I'll get right into it. So, let's start with the most common category, usually, which is Paramecia. So, the first one we have is the Kilo Kilo no Mi, which was the fruit that belonged to Miss Valentine in the anime. And it gave her the power to like adjust her weight, so she could, she could float up and float down. So in terms of in the game, this would be pretty interesting. Just a pretty basic fruit. You could like make your weight lighter and go higher, and then make it heavier and slam down. Which would probably be a guard break, probably large AOE. Pretty basic fruit really, maybe a bit of mobility too, but other than that it's just pretty simple. Not too amazing for combat, uh, no low gear dodges, because obviously it's Paramecia, so that's the downside. Next up we have the Gomu Gomu no Mi, which of course is Luffy's fruit. This would have to be a lot rarer, obviously, because it's Luffy's fruit, and if you're going to add the gears, to make it balanced, it has to be rarer. Um, but no, this fruit kind of has to be added. I've seen the clips, I'm gonna, I'll am gonna i probably show it on screen now, of um, the finished product that Foyu's already done. I like it, I think it's done well. Um, I, I, think, I don't know why it's not in the game, but hopefully he fixes that soon. Next up we have the Doku Doku no Mi which was Magellan's fruit in the anime, so the, the, the big poison guy. It basically lets you create like a venom, and like this huge uh, like venom dragon thing, which would be really cool in um, in GPO. So I'll probably put up a photo now of like the uh, big venom dragon thing, but it's actually really sick. And I've seen, I think Blocks Fruits has done it, and I think a lot of other games have done it, but they've done it really well, and it's really cool to look at. Uh, definitely one of the best Paramecias, it has to be quite rare. Next up, we have the uh, Buki Buki no Mi, which was Baby Five's fruit, and this is the fruit that allows her to like turn parts of her body into weapons. So this would be great for GPO because you could like make your hand a bazooka and then fire it out. Maybe that would block break. I don't know. Uh, damage would probably scale with gun as well. Honestly, lots of p potential there for a good fruit. Next up, we have the Ori Ori no Mi, which would be busted in combat, which is Hina's fruit, and it basically lets you create like cages. So in terms of GPO. Uh, the stun time on this fruit would be crazy because you could just stun somebody and then just combo them in for combo them. It'd be really, really good. Uh, so that's a pretty good idea, I think. Uh, next up, we have finally for the Paramisa category, we have the Doa Doa no Mi. This fruit is almost purely mobility. It lets you like create doors that go into like a parallel dimension, which you can then come back out of. So in terms of GPO, you probably better, like open a door and then just travel into like a secret dimension. But like I said, it's purely um. Like mobility, N nothing else, just putting purely mobility. Uh, next on to the Zoans. So the, the Zoan category is the category that everyone wants to see more fruits from because it's such a cool, uh, like I guess, idea for a game. Because like everyone wants to transform into like a dragon or into like you know, Kaido's fruit. Like all these different things that I would make it look nice or make a character look cooler. But here are the here are my ideas. So the first ones are for normal Zoans. We have the Ushi Ushi no Mi model bison. So this was the fruit that Dalton used in the anime, and it basically turns you into a bison. Now I'm going to probably get show on screen some photos or some screenshots rather from um, One Piece Final Chapter Two because I believe the Zoans in this game were top tier, very well made. So uh, yeah, just look at that. So yeah, you have like half transformation and full transformation, uh, obviously. Next up we have the Tori Tori no Mi model Vulcan, which is Pell's fruit. So this would be like, it'd be like Phoenix, but a normal Zoan, so only, only really mobility. Uh, of course you can use a flyer on the map, pretty useful. Obviously it drains stamina, but it's better than Gepoing everywhere. Next up we have Ino Ino no Mi, model Jackal. This is by, uh, this was Chaka's fruit. And it basically, it's basically like a, it's a really simple uh, Zoan model, so you just like transform into like, you know, a jackal, it's, it's pretty simple. I guess a health boost. And then onto the more rarer category, we, we have the mythical and ancient Zoans. So this is where it gets really cool. So we have the Ua Ua no Mi model dragon, which is of course Kaido's fruit, which honestly, uh, it is, I think they released a, um, like a model sneak peek of what they've got for the dragon fruit. But um, I know it's not the dragon fruit, it's the fish fish fruit, but it basically is a dragon, so I'm gonna go with that. And that would be pretty cool. Loads of mobility, loads of power. It would, be, it would have to be really strong. 
But next up we have the Hito Hito no Mi model of Daibutsu. So this is of course the Buddha fruit uh, that Sengoku, Sengoku has. And again, this has already been showcased. I'll put it on screen, but this has already been showcased. These fruits are already made, but they're not on the game. Why? I don't know. <laughs> you have to ask for you, but honestly, just add them to the game. It will make the game cooler, more variety when you're doing combat. And finally, for the mythical and ancient Zoan category, we have the Ryu Ryu no Mi model Allosaurus, which is X Drake's fruit. So, this is just a dinosaur, basically. And dinosaurs in this context are cool. They'd be, they'd be cool in the, in the game. Uh, lots of... Basically, just like a huge health boost and damage boost. It, it, it'd be good, in my opinion. Next up, finally, for the video, we have the Logias category. So, first up, we have the Moku Moku no Mi, which is a smoker's fruit. Which, of course, has to be added to one of the first. It was, I, th I think it was the first Logia introduced, I think. I could be wrong. But... Or at least one of the first ones to be introduced in the, in the anime. So again, really cool fruit. Just more more, more variety and logias. Next up with the Suna Suna no Mi, which is crocodile sand sand fruit. Again, loads of potential for cool moves. You can have like sand coffins, that kind of thing, like where you like put someone in sand and just crushes them. Loads of cool combo potential with that. Uh, and finally for the logia category, we have the the uh, or Marshall D T to Blackbeard's fruit. Which I can't remember the name of, but it's basically that fruit has a lot of potential because we know that Blackbeard can steal people's fruits. We don't know if that's related to his devil fruit, but it could be. So honestly, you could just make a lot of dark moves, like a huge dark like floor thing that like damages people. Honestly, these fruits are pretty easy to make in terms of like getting the design. But like obviously, it's a lot of hard work to actually build it in Roblox. But the concept is pretty simple. So yeah, that pretty much wraps it up. I would have liked to add more logias to this list, but I just couldn't find any. Uh, like obviously there are more logias, but I don't feel like people want to hear me talk about um, like uh, Caesar's fruit, like the the gas one, for like a fucking ten minutes. So I'll uh, I'll spare you that. But that's basically it for the logias, Zoans, and Paramecias. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And yeah, that's been that's been uh, that's been me.